So to chemically decontaminate your wheels, you want to use Iron X to get all the, all the iron fallout off, and then any tar little bits of tar spot spots, uh, tar X will get it off. You can see the spots there and the black spots that no matter how hard you rub with soap and a sponge, you won't be able to get it off. That's when Tarex will come in handy. Car Pro Iron X to remove all the iron contamination. These wheels are actually pretty good, but any iron will start going purple like that. And then finally, Tar X, obviously, to remove any. Bits of tar off your wheels, those little black spots. And now the tar just comes straight off. Uh, uh, just come straight off. He's better. And then finally, an old piece of clay bar. Just to really get it smooth as glass. And we get those last little bits of tar and crap. Really smooth the surface. As you can see, it's looking mighty clean now. It's actually in really good condition for an original wheel. No gutter rush. Whatsoever, no wheel weights. I don't think if they've even been smashed on the front there, which is good. That always shits me. And only a couple little chips. So for what a twenty, at least twenty-five year old wheel. Bloody good, good looking wheel. So now we just gotta polish it up, and then I will ceramic coat it. Now I've just taken the center cap off just to. Go full OCD and clean all up in there. And look at the back. It says 94. Does that mean it was made, these wheels were made in 94? Or at least the center cap that came out of the wheel. Anyway, let me know down in the comments. Never throw out old toothbrushes. They're always good to clean something. So I'm just going to use this Koch Kemi uh, polish, just put a little bit on microfiber towel and just hopefully just polish it up, really just get rid of any tiny little marks and scratches such as that, hopefully get it all off and once we do that we can ceramic coat it. Just put a little pea sized dot on the end and let's get into it. So I'm really just focusing on tiny little scratches and oops, tiny black dots that I might have missed with the uh, with the clay bar and just getting getting as perfect as as possible before I ceramic coat it. It's looking pretty good now though. Just gonna wipe it all off and we can uh, coat it. So there was some bits I couldn't quite get out with the 
the, the medium polish or, uh, that I had before. Especially to let some stuff right on the edge here. As you can see. So I've got a... Um, a bigger cut compound. This will cut, uh, what does it say, 200 grit sandpaper. So we'll see if that does a bit of job. We'll use that. So just wiping all the polish off and then we'll, we'll give a quick spray with eraser. Uh, just gets rid of all the oils on, and, and polish and then we're going to go quickly over it with essence which will put a, a, a so like a jeweling polish get that real shine going and then it actually um, it primes the surface for it says down there, prime the surface for the the C quartz uh, ceramic coating that we're going to put on it. It almost puts a slight layer of, of ceramic coating on it. So I've just finished putting the essence on. It's looking shiny as hell. Let's wipe it all off. Don't think I'm going to get any more polished shine or shiny or clean out this wheel. So that's done. We'll just have to wait an hour now for the for that essence the ceramic stuff in the essence just to to fully dry out and cure and then we can uh ceramic coat okay so we've waited an hour for the essence to dry off and one final wipe down with eraser just to get the, every single bit of polish or anything off make sure it's 100 percent clean and then finally i've said it before but no finally we're actually going to ceramic coat it Next. And this is the ceramic coating we'll be using, uh, C Quartz 3.0 UK. So that's it, comes in a kit. Uh, comes with the, the, the towels to wipe it off, the little felt towels to put it on and a little block, and even a uh, reload, which you can spray on every, every now and then just to basically top up your ceramic coating. So I've installed the uh, little felt towel by just with a credit card, just squeezing it into the, the little block you get. Actually, just put a few drops on the end. That'll do. And then just start wiping it on. Very fine. over it in a cross hatch pattern that way and that way and just keep going over it and then after about 30 seconds just wipe it off for the more intricate parts I'm just using it on the end of my finger just get right in there into the all the little parts And after about 30 seconds, just wipe it off with microfiber towel. Look at that gloss. Nothing shines brighter than ceramic coating. And we can't forget about the center cap. All polished up. Shiny as hell. You wouldn't believe that, it's 25 years old. Looking beautiful. Now, how good does that look? And call me OCD, because I am when it comes to car stuff, but I like to line up the center cap with the valve stem at the bottom of the wheel. So, you know, when you look back at your car after you park it, as you do, always look back. You might be lucky and one of the wheels might be sitting just like this with the valve stem at the bottom, center cap the right way up. And who knows, one day, you might look back at your car and both the front and the back wheel are all ma are matching. How good would that be?